hello guys uh, good morning good afternoon good evening so let's continue i'm late today uh but let's uh do some work right for our project if you look at here now uh which i just you know like started right i added a couple of changes to the navbar and you know we have the basically the background color right on hover okay so let me quickly explain that and then we move to the next section all right uh okay let me pass right uh, also i will open the <coughs> project li link right <coughs> excuse me sorry guys so our project is my tune let me open that look like there is basically no padding right yeah so what i will do is i'm just gonna remove the you know padding also top and bottom left right let's remove that one now it should be uh okay let me put this on the right side yeah that looks fine okay we can leave it right let's but just understand the logic here okay what i have done right okay so i'll go side by side and then explain this see you know in the header right we just give fixed height okay like 40 pixel height width will be 100 percent because we have max uh, make the header fixed position right if i just remove the position uh basically if i remove with 100 percent uh and then save right see our header is just up to the content okay so when you have fixed position make sure your width is 100 percent good that is one thing uh then added some font right to look something similar to our uh, design okay this one okay the same font right and g index 2 why i have g index 2 because i want the header right the top of see there is an image also which is running behind this header this background image right so what i have done is add the g index to so that our header right will be on the top of that uh, image clear if i make it minus one right see that header is behind the image now so g index means how you position your element uh, your element right if they are stacked on top of each other then you can decide you can give the g index to position like stack which one will be in the top thereafter and after right so i will just give it big number like two uh, that will bring the header on the top clear fine so that is good the next thing is ul tag so if we look at our uh, html simple ul with list item right and a tag inside now in the ul you know that it has the children all these are children right uh, li is the children of ul so i can simply make display flex to go in one row center it and give the gap between them right and list style has a bullet point so i i can remove by making list style none right if i take that out you can see the bullet there right the point okay so to remove that we make list style to none that is the part of a ul okay now a tag make a background basically remove the text decoration right under is underline from the a tag look at here that underline you can remove it get by making text decoration to uh, not and then make a font size also right simple enough okay now this is general a tag it will apply to all a tag right <clears throat> but what i want to do is for ula for our header a right you can make it header a or ula does not matter or you can just give it a class name here right uh just give a class name like a you know just call it uh nav list right 
like that okay then uh here in instead of ul you can call it dot nav list a that is also fine okay and also you can change this to dot nav list right so that if you have uls and a tag somewhere else with different style they will be different right okay so you just separate it with the class now the a tag what we have make is block element because you know you want to give width and all that right inline block then you provide the width to each element okay so if you go back here right and give a background color let's say give a background color of red see that's the box with 100 pixel width a tag okay then height will be 100 percent because we have a height here right of the the what you call that header 40 pixel so it should be 100 percent of the 40 pixel height also right then we have the color for the a tag that is white that's fine our text is in the center of the because so remember that a tag has a width of 100 pixel so you want the text to be in the center of the 100 okay pixel right so that's why it's in the center and then give some padding right top and bottom just give it padding inside the what you call that inside the a tag and left and right zero make it position relative why i will tell you right later and then g index is one so you want a tag also on the top right of the top of the top okay of the header so just the reason for this g index one and the position relative is this one see what you see here right the background color is the pseudo element what is pseudo element like a fake element right we create fake element using uh like colon colon after that's the fake we just create one new fake element which is this one right colon colon after is a new fake element Content is empty, nothing there, right? Make it position zero, like absolute. Absolute means it's out of the document flow, right? But because it's the fake element of A, okay, the fake element of A, right? Uh, and you make the position relative to the A element, that means this fake element is within the A element. Start from the top zero, left zero. Uh, right zero right and bottom minus five so just now i'll show you right this fake element does not have background color okay and this is behind behind the a tag because a tag has z index one that is top and minus one will make it below right the fake element will be just below the we call it pseudo element right pseudo i think the Mobia or some uh, I think has a pseudo element you know similarly this is a pseudo element which is kind of fake element right but it's there so let's add a background color red and check now right look at that that's the fake element but it is behind the a tag of the because I put a minus one right the g index if I put one g index look at that that fake element gets on the top of the uh, a tag right so it cover the a tag now but soon you make minus one or minus two right just minus whatever you can put it does not matter it will go below the a tag now okay so right now if i don't have background color right it's like a transparent okay the, there is a fake element but it's transparent right so see the fake element is the same size of basically same size of this a tag right that's the a tag uh, fake element but start with top zero left zero right zero of the a tag just imagine the a tag which there is something right hiding behind the a tag and is the same size of the a tag okay but we we said okay your size bottom will grow minus right minus five means below the original a tag like five pixel below right okay so when when we we want to see now we just want to see that pseudo element when you hover okay hover right so a tag hover 
and then pseudo element that is colon colon after that is the pseudo element right and change the background color to this one that's it that is all you know we have right so what i will do i'm just going to make it similar to this so that it not apply to any other a element right now now just come back here so that's the yeah so if you go and look at here that pseudo element is just hovering right which is the same size of a tag with just extra bottom minus five pixel means you go minus five pixel below right if i make it like minus just let this make it uh, zero pixel and see what happened right you see it's just exactly the same size of a element 40 pixel and all that right just covering the a element size but soon you make minus zero is the zero right size everywhere is zero but if you go minus five bottom then it just increase little bit look at that it just go a little bit below the header right so that it just extend the header that is all a tag is or pseudo element is just extending below the line right so just remember this trick okay in that way we're not disturbing the original position of any element right we're just adding something on the on the top right basically not top but on the bottom on the back side okay because this is the minus three g index that is below the a tag we're just adding some background right which is the fake element but still you can add you know sometimes we use fake element to to you know like get this kind of design right so yeah that is all for the you know like navbar right so let's do some work with the remaining part what is here now right this is the section we have the logo music and all that so you know let's make it heading two for this then heading three and then paragraph and then button and maybe this image right that is text here yeah, and the image so let me save this image also okay uh save image as i hope it will work my tune image that's png right so mock up one image okay save it uh then this image also is uh this is some kind of music icon right? some kind of icon okay so how we get icon you remember the you know like the font awesome so let's do that what i will do right font awesome cdn So let's copy the the link as the URL, right? So we're just gonna copy that link tag and place it in inside our A right here. Just below here, just add that link. Now we will be able to apply the music, right? So let's find the music icon, okay? Uh font awesome, not CDN, but I need font awesome website and then what I will do is uh, start free, just find some icon, right? So this will be here. Click on that and let's type music search. So we have this free one, right? See, the pro will be paid, so we not, cannot use it, right? So let's click on that. And, uh, you know, we got this HTML, right? That is all we need. So just click, it will copy. So the section here, we call it, uh, uh, let's call it last name section, S E C T I O N section two, right? Or maybe one, let's keep one. The top one was main, maybe it's the section one. So here we need a D with class name, of wrapper first because you want to align everything in the center right then uh because see i have two item right uh if you look at the design here is muse um the icon and the music okay so that's why i need to put in a separate box div right class name let's call it section one 
underscore maybe flex right or row let's call it row like okay now inside you're gonna have the icon and then you're gonna have h2 with music see so check now right you see here on the bottom that too right so let's add all the text and then we're going to style it so this is will be heading three let's quickly now add it so that that part that part is done that is the one div right here that's div below that just going to make heading three or even okay let's leave it like that yeah and then this heading three is the one line itself so i will just leave it like that oh I copied something wrong, right? I need to copy this. Yeah, and then there is a paragraph. Copy that. And paragraph is by itself one paragraph. So just leave it like that. No need the box. Okay, and then you have button, right? So just go. I think I'm doing something. Uh, let's see. The wrapper is there. That, that would be in the center. Then this is the one box for the music icon and the music right then this is a heading three then paragraph then button so just below this we're gonna have a button start your trial now right like that then this after that we have a paragraph so Control G. Okay, and then after we have the image, right? So if there is any text in the image, no, but still I think what we can do is let's add a figure like this, FIG figure box for wrapping image, and then you call the image uh, tag with uh, the link for the image now that will be mockup one and let's call it uh, mobile right music in mobile good done so we have everything done so let's get the background color for this here yeah, right so that is this one two five two five two nine right so i'm going to skip it so see it's something it looks something like this right now So what I will do, right? I'm just gonna add section one CSS, comment that out, okay? So dot section one and give a background color of what was that? Two, two, uh, five, two, five, two, seven. Is that? something like that okay and the color will be of course will be white right so so now check oh that is not here right see something like that okay is that the correct color just give me a second guys i will check again two five two five two nine okay okay so i just missed one number color white now uh you know remember the box right this box if you look at the design there is some padding on the top and also in the bottom right look at this so always in the main box or main wrapper you can add padding top and bottom like a 30 pixel left and right maybe zero right because we we have the wrapper for left and right okay so see there is a space on the top and also on the bottom so let's fix this one right can we make just text align center everything let's do that text align center right? like that okay fine you know sometimes if you, if you have individual element right you can just add it like that now 
what I'm gonna do is work on the top one, right? So that is section one row. See two children, first and second, right? Uh, we gonna do some work for that. First row means display flex, so it will get in one line, right? Like that. Then align item center and also to put in the center right make it justify content center horizontally and vertically in the center right you can add the margin let's make it bottom right margin bottom of maybe 20 pixel just to push other stuff below right oh okay they, they need to be separated right so add a gap of maybe 10 pixel little bit okay good see now we can increase the font size so what we can do is i will just say dot section one right and i tag that is the icon make it font size of 3 rem like that right and also dot uh yeah i think dot section one what is that heading three or two right one size of three rdm yes that is okay now we're gonna work with this right so we have heading three so dot section one heading three font size we can make it around 2.8 rem just a little less okay i cannot get it what is that this one right so this look like a little more big and then we'll see so what i'm gonna do is this one i will make four and the icon let's make it four and dot section s3 right see so that s3 here s3 yeah so that is what i need heading three font size not the font and then make it a uh, let's make it 3.6 like that okay and then give it space right so margin bottom margin bottom we can add uh, around like 20 pixel okay then we have paragraph so let's work on that so the same thing you know almost same thing paragraph and we we say font size increase the font size to to rdm right and uh, uh margin bottom of 20 pixel okay then we have section one button right so let's select that or you can just give class name to the button give a background color of red at a padding padding right what would be the padding let's make top and bottom of uh, 8 pixel left and right 16 pixel okay if you want to make big yeah we can do right uh, around 12 and a little bit of uh, around 20 right so remove the border okay let's make it border none so it will look smooth right yeah and cursor will be pointer right so let's see the original okay so it's not the red little bit uh, it's red but i think it's, uh let's change the color right of the text color to white fine uh here you can see this looks big right little bit fat also 
So I can think of something like a let's make it 24 pixel. Yeah. We can increase the font size to font size to 1.6 rem. Okay. Now, top and bottom, I, let's reduce to 20, right? Because even font size will add some space. Can we give the margin bottom? Margin bottom of 20 pixels. Right? And this is okay because this looks same size of this one because of the you know the paragraph. Now what wrong with this image, right? This image is not centered out perfectly, you know. If you increase, it looks something like this, right? But the when you reduce back, it just not uh, you know like adjusting, right? So we have image somewhere here. We don't, right? We don't have image. Okay, so let's apply that. IMG always when you have image, just select IMG with a hundred percent so that it will adjust based on the size of the screen or the parent box. You know, now it looks better. Look at that. And uh, we can make object fit, object fit to contain, right? So it will always. Uh, what do you call that? It will always uh, adjust. Okay. So okay, I, I think what I have done mistake, right? Look at this. This image is moving along with the everything. Okay, and here it's it is not moving, right? So. What I have done is I have made the image fixed, I believe. Okay, let's check now. Uh, in the uh, in the background color of the main, right? So image attachment is fixed. Uh, so it should be just remove that one and check. Yeah, so that will move now. Okay. But if you make the fixed image, then image will be stuck in the same place. Okay. The text will al always move, right? But right now I have removed that. So, you know, it's okay. Fine, so we have finished this part, right? Uh, we have done that part now. This next is this one, right? So you have almost same thing now. Look at that, you know, almost same, right? You have this image, so you can save this image, save as mark to right save, and then in that section you're gonna have this text. So we can just keep it like a heading two, right? Let's keep it like that. Uh, so here we can call this last name section two. Okay. So the first thing is heading two. Then you have paragraph. You know it was it should be very simple now, right? Just, uh, then we have this button, right? Simple button. So it's just complaining, right? Uh, I think when you copy paste, sometimes uh, I don't know what is that, but just leave it. it. Will be something like that. Because you use that, you know, percent code, right, to add that. Okay, and and, and I think three six nine something like that. the code for this symbol. Okay. So if you just search percent uh code or sim uh code right you will get that uh ampersand symbol or uh, or maybe code right let's call it code see what we get uh that is the one but no and amp right yeah that's the one also you can use that but there is some number also like uh see the see all this symbol has a number right so if you look up for the m percent somewhere you will find it 
amp amp okay that is the, that is the, i think and right uh not for i'm looking i think i'm just searching for uh wrong right so that will be uh what do you call that apostrophe not apostrophe but the okay i don't know what is that right but first remember there is a symbol for that okay so even you can use a symbol right that should do the job apostrophe not apostrophe right quote not quote even uh it's called what do you call that see even simple english thing i'm get confused right sometimes let's see let me find out stone to one to uh amp right okay let's put let's try one thing okay here see if this is the apostrophe right there let's put and amp and this right and see if we are getting or not okay so go back to our it should be in the if you are right if you are and that is the and symbol look at that is the and symbol we get right and that is not what we need uh should be a o i think p o a O P S, yeah. A O P S. That's the one. Apostrophe, right? So no. And A P O S. Save. And you get that right. So there is double okay. Apostrophe is A O P S. Okay. So you can see it's there already. So you can use this symbol also, okay normally in html is fine but when we are using react when we're going to reach to react next yes right you know you cannot just put symbol there you know it will complain right so your you know, the linter will complain so better to use this symbol okay all right we can talk about that more in the futures as we need it so what else we have here button this add button Just give a class name like uh, BTN, maybe let's make it too bad. Read more, okay. And after that, we have image, right? So, figure I'll just call it figure that's the box for the image, and then IMG tag with the address for your image mock 2, and this is like playing guitar right G U eight guitar is that okay or let's call it playing music so now it looks something like this nice if you look at the original design so there is a background color that is white right so we don't need to worry about too much but we just need to add some padding on top and bottom let's start that uh we call it section to css okay so dot section to and give up padding top and bottom of 30 pixel left and right is zero because oh i forgot to add the wrapper guys remember that so that's why my text is you know like touching the border right and i don't want that so you need to wrap inside the wrapper container the copy and uh, here right so give a class name of wrapper so now it will be in the center look at that it just follow you know the top arrangement right fine so go back and everything in the center right so text align center okay now what i will do is i'm gonna dot section to h2 apply font size 
font size of maybe how much of font size of let's make it for rdm okay then we're gonna have paragraph so look at that let's make three i think yeah so the paragraphs will be uh, also give some space right margin bottom always of maybe 16 pixel then paragraph so section two e tag right uh font size make it to rdm that is 20 pixel right and then give margin bottom of 16 pixel then you have button right so we added dot btn underscore what was that uh just btn2 right let's check one time btn2 okay so now we can let's add margin first right margin button so that the image will be pushed down m a r g margin bottom maybe around 16 pixel so that is all side i just want bottom right oh sorry it's okay that's the margin bottom uh, give a background color of a blue it's blue or green yeah uh somewhere not that dark but somewhere keep it like that and text is white right so color will be white okay you know we just need little bit padding right so top and bottom i believe 16 pixel left and right let's make it 8 pixel so that it will work more the kind of dark around uh, let's make it 18 pixel a little bit more right yeah and border will be none okay so on hover right the little bit slight color change okay so uh, cursor pointer also make it that so remember i missed to put the you know hover on the top look at this pseudo you want to apply pseudo after you know that is or before you know you can apply you can create pseudo element but we don't need that right now we just want to hover right so that is also the one of the pseudo element hover change the background color to slight different slight different so here make it a little bit like that and transition you can if you want to add a transition in the color right uh, we have transition here just copy and put that uh this one okay so it will be a smooth movement of the color right okay so now if you look at uh see that it just fine we can do the same thing for our you know power for the this button right so you can apply dot section one button power over right and then add this no need that bracket the background will be red uh, but we're gonna change that right so we're gonna change it slight different red like that so now if you go here see it's nice but is that is the one we are, we are working on no right 
you have to go back and see nice okay so you can play around right guys i will uh i think i will just stop here right uh i want you guys to try this uh now we have this section this section and this section i will just complete this sometimes tomorrow and then post the new video again okay so that monday right next week monday what i will i'm gonna do is start javascript okay and then you know because we need to spend a lot of time with javascript right we need to you know a lot of time okay a lot of work with javascript because once you master javascript and you know keep practicing some basic simple html right you understand grid flex uh, positionings you know couple of new tricks some tricks on the css right that gonna help okay that will be very good right also in the you know when we start uh, getting close to our react course after javascript we will be you know working with the tailwind css so when you understand css properly right the flex and grid tailwind become much much easier to learn okay uh, and that is what you you will be using during our uh, always right mostly in the companies also and in our work okay most of the time mostly all the time right you will be using that so so let's not worry just do the work right every day three to four hours just you know code do something productive okay and keep working for at least for one year time right slowly slowly keep moving keep moving keep moving make sure the concept few concepts like greed and flex i'm saying again right you master positioning some basic css always see text align padding margin you know background color font size right how to create a buttons these are the only few things you have to understand all right so what i'm gonna complete this uh tomorrow and then you know i will put the video again okay so the monday we're gonna start our javascript thank you guys uh i will see you monday but you're gonna get one video tomorrow the remaining part right thank you bye, -bye.